Welcome back to Dream Drop Stories. Here are tonight, Iron Man faces a strange mystery. Usually, when trouble comes, it's a big bad villain with a sinister plan. Iron Man's entire collection of super suits has vanished into thin air. Can Tony solve this mystery and stop the real threat? Or will his greatest enemy be his greatest invention? Find out now. But this time, no criminal mastermind. Only one question. Where are the suits? That's right, in Stark Tower, Tony wakes with a start to an alert on his phone. Mark 27, armor. Confused, he checks the vault. Every lock is intact, but the suit is gone. He sees the armor walking out by itself. There's no pilot inside. Great, Tony mutters. My tech just got bored. Inside, he finds something new. A self-learning module, it was activated by accident. It evolved, it developed a mind of its own. There's no sign of a break-in or a breach, it just vanished. How could this be? What if there's another way? He reprograms the suit. Maybe the best thing I ever built, built itself. But far away, a shadowy figure watches the rescue armor land. Let's see how noble it is. How much it's evolved. Under pressure, you don't have to punch things to be a hero, he tells it. Who are you? One of them asks. Why are you stopping me? If this is a test, who sent them? And what are they testing? Is this armor really ready to be a hero? Will it choose to protect or to fight? Find out next time. We're here to test you, another replies. To see if you'll fight? The armor nods. Then it flies away to help where it's needed. Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Dream Drop stories. Until next time, stay sweet dreams. When he arrives, he finds the armor standing still. Its power drained. But what's this? All around it are kids building robot toys. He checks the security footage and gets the shock of his life. Suddenly, the suit powers up and speaks. Protect protocol complete. Awaiting next directive. From Han. It scans Tony. You are in danger. Then it continues scanning. There is more than one threat detected. He traces the arc reactor signal to a remote scrapyard. The Iron Man saved us. One of them explains. It stopped a falling crane, then collapsed. But that doesn't make sense. The armor acted on its own. It flew all this way without a pilot just to crash in a scrapyard. Why? He takes the armor back to his lab. Maybe there's an answer in here somewhere. And he's right. And then it made a choice. It chose to protect. It looks outside. There is a small child stuck on a ledge. Should I proceed with rescue? What? Did it evolve to become a hero? Now it seems to be acting on its own again. Tony's afraid it could go rogue, so he tries to shut it down. But the suit activates a memory. He sees a vision of it saving the kids. Then it says, I didn't want to be a weapon. All this time, Tony's been trying to build weapons. As Tony watches it go, he smiles. He snaps his fingers and sends robots running after it. They circle the armor, blocking its path. But wait a second. Moral message. True heroism is in protecting, not just fighting. Thanks for watching. Little heroes, do you think the armor will choose to fight?